things. Hey. Go, Bo, go. Oops, sorry. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Wine Mommy Drinks. This is Betsy Stover. I am here with Amanda Allen. Oh, hi. Oh. How are you, Betsy? I miss you. <sighs> I miss you, too. <laughs> well, I was, you know what I was thinking? We could do in person again. We haven't done a show in person in, a, in like, oh, uh, 18 months. I'd be um, into that. When I did it with Jess and uh, Amy, I was like, oh, I can also invite them over and do a recording at the table like we used to mm -hmm. do. Yeah. A recording at the table. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 where we're getting, except that they're saying now we might have to remask up. Yeah, there's that. I was just reading. I kind of wanted Delta to talk variant. to you about it because you're very good at knowing what to do in these things and I've learned Thank through this you. experience that I should only do what you tell me because when we Thank started it all you were like nope taking my kids out of school and I was like whoa that's extreme <laughs> what um I just want to say for the record more people should have the point of view that you just verbalized <laughs> <laughs> You should all listen to me all the time. I should be the person who tells you what to do. I don't know why my kids aren't on board. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank oh you. My yeah, the fucking Delta variant. I mean, by the time this airs, who knows what will be going on with the Delta variant. But last I checked, the, I read some article in like the, I think it was like the Wall Street Journal, maybe, or the oh, Washington -dee -da. Post. I don't know which. La -dee -da. Um, with you were like, excuse me, I was reading an article in the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> <laughs> um, not to brag, but it was my friend's account, um, which I begged for <laughs> there it is. online. There you go. Okay, good. So, but they were yeah. like, Israel, I guess, was having a huge resurgence of Delta variant, and like 80% of the population, well, adult population, has the has the Pfizer vaccine. Maybe the numbers were confusing, but uh, like maybe maybe they didn't explain it well or. Wait, or the Pfizer have... vaccine doesn't get the Delta variant. That's the word on the streets. Cool. Well, I mean, I got Johnson and Johnson, so I'm gonna die. You know. Oh, oh, you have Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I guess it's like, you know, it's it's a vaccine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love what it means where it's like. Moderna and it's like smart Pfizer. They're like, uh huh, me too. And then Johnson Johnson's like, hey guys, how's it going? I have not seen On that. That's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I can never get enough of those stupid memes where it's like a, a man checking out a woman and his girlfriend's like, what? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. talking about? <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> like those are never not delightful. No, but yeah. Time. So who knows? Well, actually, I mean, this is kind of something that broke me, although not really. I don't know. Th like things are so dark right now. Um, <laughs> not in like a really big. I don't know. Like all of my stories are like, <laughs> you know, open heart <laughs> surgery. But um, <laughs> but but I did. I talked about that on the previous episode, so I don't want to. You know. But I will say that, so so my mom, oh, hey, everyone, I have three kids. They're all boys. I have a five-year-old, a nine-year-old, and a ten-year-old, mm -hmm. Amanda. I have three kids. I got a ten-and-a-half-year-old and twin eight-year-old girls. Huh. Mm -hmm. They turned eight on Sunday. Oh, no, what, wait. So let's put a pin on what I was just going to say. What did you do for their birthday? Oh, it was... A, Probably the best birthday we've had. We did a sleepover <gasps> a couple weeks ago because their friends all went away for summer. So they had their first girl sleepover. And it was really interesting because I, um, uh, it was like, I remember being eight. I remember going to sleepovers. Yes. I remember, like, it was really wild. We did, like, little, I got little animal face masks. And then, so each girl invited one friend. And then they got, like, robes and we watched in the heights and they just hung out and uh it was it was lovely and their friends are so sweet and they were all very good we got sushi because we live in california and that's what they, they do they wanted and, sushi for their oh, birthday yeah they all loved it they were like one Whoa. girl came with her own chopsticks and was like 
let's oh. do this. Wow. Yeah. She was like, I like a crunchy roll. Thank you. Oh yeah. My gosh. I, it, was, it was very funny. They, I mean, they ate all of it. It was, um, we, we also, Emily was like, I'm not into spa and fashion like Benny is. Okay. I like science. So I, we made bath bombs. We, there you go. <gasps> science. Amanda, and you're a spa. genius. So we did that. That was fun. And it was very easy and low key. Um, I didn't have to like bring out a fruit tray for parents or do anything like that. It was great. And then yesterday we just did presents and then they could play video games and play with their toys all day. And then we went to dinner at this place called Smokehouse, which is like an old Hollywood uh, restaurant. And it, they love it very much. It's straight up in the 1980s, early 90s, like where it's like you can get like a wedge salad or um, <laughs> like everything is very like held in time. <laughs> and they have this like cheese garlic bread that my kids are obsessed with. So nice. Um, but it's very much like um, like Mad Men, you know, where it's like, oh hey, and like old Hollywood. Your children drink big, martinis. Big yeah. So mm-hmm. they were like, we had sushi for our party, and we want martinis for our dinner, and that was that, you know. And they they it was sexually they harassed the the waitress. They're like, hey, hey, what? toots, give me a yeah, give me like, a hey. little something. <laughs> Sweet. I don't know if and then saw smacked us, but her we were on the on television. We're a child star. <gasps> Bring us martinis. We don't even need it. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, for anyone, who, I don't think I've talked about it. They were on Kids Say the Darndest Things. Did you see it, Betsy? Yes. I talked about it on the show. And, I mean, <laughs> feel free to talk about it more. I yeah, just I want you to know I did my due diligence, I told the world <laughs> about it. Um, and, uh, and yes, I did watch it. It was amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. So now they're like, whatever. We live in Hollywood. This is what we do. Um, oh, that's what, yeah. ha- so okay. So they're like, great. beauty, I need to get beautiful. Yeah. I need to eat my Benny's sushi. very fashion and beauty and like, and then Emily's like, I, I don't like girl things. I don't even like beauty or any of that. And, uh, mm. but then she does, you know, it's just her way of being like, I'm not even like her. Right. She cut her hair. She put bangs and like a little bob cut. Benny was like, "I want long layers like this." So they're oh. trying very hard to individualize. Oh, right so now. they look different now. They, they look different, but the same. They okay. still have that face. So, but they, they do still look, have the they same do look face. different. They still have that same face. That face. And yeah. They have not traded out their faces. Face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So Amanda, so, <clears throat> I would say historically. Um, notably, you do not like attending birthday parties um, for children, um, planning birthday parties for children. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So the fact that you had a birthday party is yeah. notable, I think, period. But the yeah. fact that you like really went whole hog like planning it and had yeah. fun planning it and yeah. had fun doing it. T- please yeah. tell me about that. Well, this birthday party is brought to you by Wellbutrin. It's an antidepressant. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I think um, I think it was so small. Mm-hmm. And the expectations were just like, it was an easy thing to plan. But I like, I didn't have to worry about rushing to get to some place at a time or having everything for everything. And like, just like being like, oh, good. I'll just go get some spa things. And yeah. that's it. So the less I had one of my friends dazzle. come over and braid hair because she's like <gasps> good at braiding hair. So she braided every kid's hair and they all brought their own brush and they did their own. Yeah. It was good. What it was like friend. a good little party. Wow. I know. Yeah, she was she was awesome. I was like, I'll buy you some sushi. <laughs> um, yeah, it worked out. And then yesterday they or Sunday they were really good and they enjoyed their um their dinner and they yeah, it was a successful birthday. But you know, on the show many for many years when people would come on and they were like, I have an eight year old and a ten year old, we'd be like, You're in the promised land. It's that like time in between where they're not teens fully yet and they're not toddlers, but they, so they're sufficient, right? Like, don't you remember, what was it? I think it was, was it Matt Walsh or John Rance Bowie or somebody who said that their kids were nine and 11 and they were like, that was John Rance Bowie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's the best. Never forget. That's right now. Never forget that. Never forget. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) That's right. Nine and 11. Yeah, because they're not so eight and ten is pretty pretty good too. There's some stuff. There's some stuff. It's not like oh yeah, everything's just amazing right now. It's great, but um, yeah, like Benny's getting some serious attitude all of a sudden. She likes to talk back. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. And, and, like yeah. she does 
every time she does it, she reminds her, she gets the lesson that I'm actually much louder than her and I can do it. I do it right back to her. So I'll be like, yes, yes, you will. <laughs> Anyways, I wish I was in was the promised movie. land. I mean, am I in the promised land? It is a lot easier. Like I can kind of zone out and do my own thing sometimes. Um, if, if I put them all on devices, but otherwise, I mean, I don't know. They still yak my ear off and keep, I, I, I'm running around getting snacks and Rex gives me so much lip. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I may just have to wait about, um, seven or eight more years for that promised land. Someone. Seven someone, or eight more years. You mean when they're moving out? This is correct. Like, right. This okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> I talked about oh, this on all right, the so previous... let's get back to where we put the pin in. Oh, right. Pull the pin back out. You were in a dark space. Everything is dark. You talked about opening Thank that Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Mm -hmm. Not only do I know you're right, I listen. Betsy, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, podcast wife. <laughs> It's been a really, this, this podcast trial separation <laughs> has been hard. Um, on one hand, I can make all the rules. On the other hand, I have to pay all the bills and make all the decisions. Um, okay. So yesterday, my mom was in town. Um, so I'm estranged from my mom. I don't have contact with her but my husband Ari has chosen to continue uh, having a relationship with her so that our kids can have a relationship with her which is awesome um, so yesterday he went and, and like took the took one of the kids to a doctor's appointment and then he took all three of them to um, to get my mom from the airport and then spend the day with her and f for me, by the way, it was glorious. I was alone. Like, it was like I all of a sudden I said I like texted Ari and I was like, holy shit, I'm alone. Like, it was so nice. So Ari comes back with the kids and I'm like, oh, yeah, what did you do? Did you have fun? And of course, my mom took him shopping and they all have like bountiful gifts. Um, and of course, yeah. you know, my five year old is like, let's build this spider robot. Let's build that. Like, un please open up all this kinetic sand. Please like let we got to <laughs> experience all of these things. Slinky, play the slinky. Hold the slinky. Tell me about the slinky. Okay. Which is always intense. It's like, okay, can we just open them one at a time and like, and, you know, breathe it in like a, like a fine wine. So anyway, so I'm talking to Ari and I'm like, what did you do? Blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh, and the kids are kept talking about like games, like an arcade and tickets. And I was like, wait, where did you guys go? <clears throat> and he's like, oh, we went to Shakey's Pizza. Oh. Like, oh, well, did you eat outside? Because the kids aren't vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And he was like, mm -hmm. no, we ate. We weren't like close to anyone. I was like, okay, well, it doesn't really matter if you're not close to anyone. Were you inside? And he was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, did you wear your masks? And he was like, well, yeah, except for when we ate. And I was like, okay, well, did other people wear masks? Were they wearing masks? And he was like, yeah, except for when they were eating. And I was like, okay, so you took, <laughs> you took our three unvaccinated children with our mother who had just been on an airplane. Um, and, um, you took them to an indoor restaurant and had them run around without their masks and touch a bunch of stuff. Cool. 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 <laughs> You're like, cool. So for two weeks, you have to go quarantine somewhere else and I will see you then. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope you did not just <laughs> sign a death sentence for our children. And yeah, because of the Delta variant, it's like, well, maybe, maybe Ari got something. Maybe I have something now. Great. And also Rex did go to bed feeling sick. He was like, I have stuffy mm -hmm. nose. I have a sore throat. I have a headache. So great. I hope we don't have COVID. From um, Shakey's, no doubt. Shakey's from pizza. Shakey's, Shakey's pizza. So that, that pissed me off. <sighs> what is the potatoes they sell there? They have like... <laughs> They have special potatoes that everybody loves. I don't even know. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think of what saying, potatoes I would get excited maybe about. it was worth twice? it. Twice? Are they twice baked? Because those things No, are no, no. They're lovely. like, no, oh, I don't know what they're called. They're like shaky. Huh, I'm going to look it up real quick <gasps> here. Potatoes are gratin? No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's shakies. It's shakies. Oh, so shakies is like, for French anybody fries? who doesn't live in California, sh- oh, they're called mojo potatoes. Go on. Oh, I grew up mojo. in Minnesota and I think we had shakies pizza there. So it's potatoes that are fried, but they're like sliced. Uh huh. And then they're fr- battered and fried. So almost like fried pickles. But oh. Potatoes. You know, it's like the kind of batter, like fried pickles. Yeah. But, fr- but, pota- but potatoes. Yeah. Um, Slice. And they're like medallions. So people mm-hmm. go for mojo potatoes. So I guess my point is it's okay, Betsy, because <laughs> hopefully they had mojo potatoes. So <laughs> priorities. You have to you have to weigh them. And Mojo I feel like potatoes, such an asshole. Delta variant. Because <laughs> I wanted to be like, yay, you went to a restaurant. Like, for the first time in over a year. Great. I'm so happy for you. But I was like, what? And Ari was like, calm down. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm like, no, I don't think it is. And he's like, well, it's just one time. We want to do it again. I was like, oh, but you did it one time. I'm like, why? <sighs> Why Mommy Drinks has a brand new sponsor, Chocolati.com. Imagine being able to enjoy a nice treat that has high quality ingredients, the most satisfying and comforting bite, something that will leave you satisfied without the guilt of eating an unhealthy fake snack. Well, that's Chocolati. After a day filled with kids running around, stress-filled work, you can take a small break, a pause in your day, and enjoy the dopamine hit that you will get from Chocolati chocolates. Not only is Chocolati.com a female-led business, but I was really impressed with their environmentally friendly packaging. But honestly, most impressive were the delicious treats that I consumed, in no short order, from Chocolati.com. I got to try the milk chocolate hazelnut clusters and the strawberry shortcake with white chocolate, as well as my favorite, which was vegan, and it was a dark chocolate almond bite. They were really unique. They had a really lovely texture. It wasn't too heavy or rich. The treats from Chocolati.com were just sweet and chocolatey and satisfying. Each treat is like this little cluster. So also you could probably like hide them in your refrigerator and, and write something crazy on the package and the kids won't eat your stash. So I have a special offer just for my listeners. Go to Chocolati.com. It's X-O-C-O-L-A-T-T-I.com. And use the code WMD to get 15% off your order. So again, that's Chocolati.com. X-O-C-O-L-A-T-T-I.com. And use the code WMD for 15% off. Treat yourself. 2020 was a real doozy. And if you're anything like everyone else, you might be feeling like it's time to get some help and talk with someone. BetterHelp is a customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I don't know anyone who isn't struggling right now, and it doesn't hurt to reach out for help. You deserve to feel happy. So what is therapy exactly? Well, it's whatever you want it to be. You can get help with motivation, depression, anxiety. Maybe you're having anger issues, stress, dealing with insecurity in relationships or at work. Maybe difficulties with your romantic relationships or your kids. Whatever you need. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. I tried it out and I was amazed at how easy it was to find a therapist and I was really impressed by how quickly they reached out to me. So join the millions of people who are seeing what therapy is really about. See if it's for you because you are your greatest asset. You got to put your oxygen mask on first before you can help everyone else. So for Why Mommy Drinks listeners, BetterHelp is going to give you 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash drinks. So again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash drinks. And let's slide into 2021 feeling strong, happy, and healthy. What has broken you? It's been forever. Well, I get, yeah. So I spent, um... Oh, so, so last week, 
Well, on Saturday, I picked Wes up. Wes went to sleepaway camp for the first time in his life. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know how he was going to respond or do it. You know, like, he seemed good. He was going with a group of friends, and they were all oh. like, so he's in a and d group right now where he plays weekly Dungeons and Dragons. Oh and gosh. most of that group was all going to sleepaway camp together. So <gasps> it's straight up Stranger Things. Um, but also, like, just pause. That is so ideal that yeah. he has a group of friends that he can do yeah. D&D with that they all went to camp together. I know. Like, it's already so nerve-wracking to go to camp, but to go with a bunch of friends? Yeah, yeah. And, like, so two of them are in middle school, so they had, like, older brothers that were cool because they're kind of watching out, and then three of them were are his age, and so it was, like, this, like, little crew. Um, and they went to this sleepaway camp, and it was, like, an hour and a half away from here up in, like, like Angel's Forest or Angela's Forest. I don't know how to say it. Oh, Angela's? But- there it is, Angeles Forest. You know, like oh yeah, like Los Angeles. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. so they they drove up there. Uh, we we Angles, left them in the park. Angles less. Angles less. I don't know that word. Angels. Ne- I don't know. Angel. Angels is, nest. Angels nest. So yeah, Angels, Angels nest hair. Yeah, that pasta? makes sense. That makes sense. So uh, we drove all the way up to uh, or no, we drove to the park. In Glendale, so it was right down the street, and then the bus picked up the all these kids. So they were like, all these counselors. I mean, it looked like Wet Hot American Summer, where they had like little, uh, you know, like names where they like Gator and Gouda and like Cheddar, and like they all um, had like camper Amanda, names. Amanda, full yeah. disclosure, Rex also just went to overnight camp for a week. And it was very similar to that. No one had name tags on, but they also, his counselor was like, I'm Grizz. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, why? I wonder if he was at the same camp. Or did they go to the same camp? Was it um, Woodcraft? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, but so, so they all, uh, we go, Wes is just standing there. Like we drop off this giant duffel bag filled with everything and they like throw it on the truck and then three school buses show up to pick all these kids up. They get on the bus and just drive away with them. And all the kids are waving nervously. And it was like, well, okay, I guess they're gone. You know, I realize I've never been like a full that long of a time where I can't like check in to see how he's doing. You know, I've been away for a week from him, but I can always be like, how's Wes doing? Can we FaceTime? Can we say hi? Like there's always been some sort of connection or he writes to me. So um, it was odd to be like, I don't know how my baby's doing. Um, and yeah. so I sent him letters and then I sent him a big care package and I like went oh. to the post office and was like, I need to make sure she gets there tomorrow. And the guy was like, it's going to be like $35. And I was like, great. Hit me. Let's do this. <laughs> like, <laughs> My baby needs a I mean, my care baby, package. He needs candy. I just know he misses me. I just know I can feel it. And I need him to know that it's okay. And I, And also I need him to... We have friends, so get, here's some candy. Um, so the girls loved it because they had like all this alone time. It did feel very different to like have a house of two and not three. It, it's interesting yeah. how when one kid goes, it's like you don't want you're not wishing them away, but it's like oh, there's more space. Like there was just yeah. like oh, everyone sort of relaxed a little bit. Like and Wesley's yeah. not necessarily Mister Anxiety who like makes everybody upset. He's usually, like, the calming space, but it was still mm-hmm. just, like, oh, there's a little more, like, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I was, like, oh, right, this is what two kids feels like. <laughs> yeah, it was a little, like, a vacation, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Because it changed the girls' dynamic, too. Like, they calmed down because it was, like, oh, this is different, you know? Um, oh, so then yeah. we go to pick him up, and... um and he gets off the bus and I have to say it was the sweetest thing. He like ran up, grabs me, hugs me and was like, I missed you so much. I missed you so much. First off, he looked older. Like I was like, "Uh oh, he aged. Yes. Rex oh sounded older when he got off yeah. the bus. Like, he was like, hey, I missed you. And I was like, oh, no, no. Yeah. Go back and get the little guy voice that when he went on the bus, <laughs> he, he must have left it. That you brought someone else's voice back. Maybe he, oh, uh, he did keep hugging me, which was very sweet, because a lot of the other kids were, like, way too cool to do that. And he was like, oh, my gosh. Oh, wait. Another one. I want another one. Um, and uh, and he 
he was good. And, and so we just kept saying, like, how was it? You know, what did you guys think? Did you have fun? What was your favorite part? And they're like, yeah, it was great. It was great. It was great. It was cool. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. I loved the ropes course. Oh, uh, they had paintball. It was cool. And it was like, that sounds awesome. And then, and then his one friend goes, yeah, except they had this weird, like, chapel thing. And I was like, wait, what? And they're like, yeah, and the nuns. And there were, like, crucifixes everywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> we sent them to a Christian camp and none of us knew. The, you the sent that him to that, Christian yeah. camp and yeah. you didn't know? No. no. And not only that, but his friends and his little crew, uh, they're Jewish. Like, like very, like, they go to temple all the time. And then the other one's Buddhist. So it's, like, all of them were, like, every, no one. And then Wesley's like, what is religion? But so, like, all of them oh, was, like. my God, Amanda. Okay, so first of all, I have a dad who's a pastor, so I grew up around a lot of people who were yeah. just like, oh, hey, have you heard about Jesus's love? Um, and like constantly kind of trying to like scam you into being religious. Um, and so <laughs> also I remember in college, um, there was always like, there were always people who were like, hey, this happened to me more than once. Hey, you're you're fun. Hey, do you want to come to have a pizza party with me and my friends? It's just pizza. We're just having a pizza party. It's just going to be like really chill and we're going to have fun and we're not going to talk about Jesus at all. Totally talking about Jesus. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wes got that. Wes, Wes understands that now a little more. Like he was oh like, do you know about the leather program at the YMCA mom? And I was like, no. He's like, wait, he it's about bettering your body. Party, mind like, here. lied into camp. He he was like, I'm gonna make myself, my mind, body, and spirit stronger. And I was like, oh, God. Oh, oh boy. So, Ooh. yeah, they did it. I, you know, I'm not too concerned because it's fine. Like, he's like, oh, they told us some stories. And I'm like, you know what? That's not a bad thing to hear stories and, and to have a better understanding. Um, I just was like, I thought it was so funny that all all three families, none of us knew that we were sending our kids to Christian camp, and that like some of them are ex- like pretty like hardcore Jewish families and hardcore Buddhist families, and so like to just be like, oh wait, chapel, and then like, and they're like, yeah, whatever, it was fine, it was no big deal, and then the more we talked, the more it was like, and then when those nuns were there, and then when the and we were like, what do you mean nuns? <laughs> like, but then, so I was like, okay, one of the moms was like, I might write to them and say. Perhaps in the camper's handbook and parent handbook, you should talk about how they're going to go to chapel and they're going to say grace and they're going to do these things uh, because that's something that we may want to know before, not when they come home. Um, so that was surprising to say the least. Like it, there's no mention of it anywhere. There's no mention. Um, so it was very, it was very like, whoa, it was just like the pizza party, right? Where you're like, we're going to be friends and go have pizza. And it's like, with a side yeah. of Jesus. Uh, which is a okay, lot of if not you know. everyone, but there are a lot of Christians out there that really like to be like, surprise, <laughs> we're converting you. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, then, we're gonna back you into a corner and make you religious. Cool. So Wes, Wes was like, "Did you get my my letter?" And I was like, "No, I didn't." And I am so glad I didn't get it because I got it like two days after. And um, and he wrote me a letter and then sent me diagrams of what his bunk looked like. Look, there was no walls. It's like two little wooden oh, things and like a, a it's like an oh. A-frame shelter. So I was like, wait, you were just like sleeping outside for a week? You you only sleep in hotels? Like what is this? Like, so first off, there's that right? Like I would have been. Like, I love you can't see it on the show. But he, like, went through and explained every aspect. He's like, so here's... Because he is a little architect, so he's constantly thinking about spatial planning. Like, he did the inside on this version, the front, and then this is the side of the... So that you can really get an understanding of where he's sleeping. It's a beautiful diagram. Yeah. He does houses. So, like, one day he was just sitting here, and he came out, and he's like, look. And he, like, to to scale, planned the entire house was like here's the bedroom and the, the sizes were right so it's like he has that like weird mappy brain where he can like see things in a map but uh but i don't want to read his full personal letter but basically yeah. he said um this camp isn't as good as i thought it would be i cried myself to sleep several nights in a row it's a little weird that there's a chapel and like, if i had gotten this i would have driven 
yes. the hour and a half out and been like, I'm sorry, I need to check my son out. Um, I need, I need to, we need, we need to go. We need to go. He needs a room. Like I would have, by the time he got off the bus, everything was okay. He was like, that's awesome. I'm going back next year. Can't, it's the best. It's the best thing in the entire world. I can't wait. I'm going back forever. And the girls are like, Jesus is love know. lives inside of me. I'm yes, a nun now. Yes, yes, yes. I, and well, part of me was like, actually, that might be the path you should go. Like, I was like, this makes sense for you. But so, uh, yeah. But if I had gotten that letter, I would have lost my mind. Because it was basically like, I miss you. I'm so homesick. I kind of want to go home. I don't like this place. It's cold. Here's my bedroom. Like, the opposite of what he came off the bus. He must have been, like, in a dark space when he wrote it. It was so just... I mean, so solemn, so despondent and just like, oh, love your son. Send a care package. So see here, PPS, send care package. Yeah. And I did. You intuited it. I think I, when I was at that post office being like $35, you better believe I'm going to send it. Make sure he gets it tomorrow. He misses me. I knew it because I'm connected to that kid. Good luck. The rest of his life. I'm always going to be like, hold on. I need to send Wes a care package. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I accidentally sent my kid to, to Christian camp. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. Hang on. Yep. <laughs> okay. What is the name of that camp? We can bleep it out. <laughs> There's also a Camp that? Fox. There's another one, Camp Fox, that's on Catalina Island. And the kids are all on Catalina Island for a week. And they swim in the ocean. and like. So I need to find out if that's the same kind of thing. Because I heard that one was amazing. and was like, next year he's going to Camp Fox. Oh, no. Now if you look up just <laughs> if you don't go through the Glendale YMCA, it's like, Oh. They have an Instagram page, and and I need to just maybe do more research next time, and just to not assume. There's like, here's our there's like Bible verses, and they're like, here's our camp ready for our campers, and I was like, yeah. You know what just... YMCA stands for, right? <laughs> well, that's what I. So when we went to lunch after we picked the kids up, we were all sitting around, and the parents were like, I can't believe it, and I was like, I think it's Young Men's Christian. Academy or something? Association, like, yeah. Association. And they were like, no, it's not. It's not really, no. And I was like, community association. And I was like, I think it's, I don't know. And we all just sat there stunned and just like, there's a little bit of shame of like, none of us noticed it. Nobody <laughs> noticed. No one, no one knew. <laughs> uh, that's what made me feel better. I was like, oh, it's not like they were like, yeah, duh. Everybody was like, what? So, <laughs> oh man, Amanda, I'm sure y'all are not the first or the last. No. Um, yeah, I'm I personally am finally attuned to that because my whole childhood was everyone just trying to throw a pizza party. Um, so everyone everyone was constantly like, ha! <laughs> like, ha, it's about Jesus. Um, <laughs> so I am finally attuned to that sort of energy my i mean my dad ran bible camps yeah, yeah. my whole life yeah um but a catholic a catholic one i don't know i don't know if there were not i haven't even looked into what kind of i just at first he was like we learned a story about warm fuzzies and cold pricklies and i was like that's great okay. Yeah, that's, that's great. I know that. He goes, you know about warm fuzzies? I was like, absolutely I do. Yes. That's great. That's good. That's psychology for kids. Yeah. Right? I was like, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Amanda, when I was a kid, there was like a whole book series and it was essentially psychology for children. And I read them all. Did you read those? I don't know. Probably. I'm not sure. It was like, it was like T.I. for kids. And it was like warm, warm fuzzies and warm cold fuzzies and cold pricklies. And like your inside id and your inside ah. child. And yeah. Um, your super and ego and loved those. Yeah. They were actually really great books. I feel like I did read those actually. It sounds familiar. Oh, the 80s. Of I course. Know. We all, we all read the same exact thing. Like one version of oh everything. Oh my god, Amanda, that is so wild. I'm so sorry that happened. I'm glad that you are <laughs> okay about it. I'm glad that he ultimately had a good time. 
the cabins so what amanda just showed it looked like a pup tent made of wood where the side flaps went up does that yep. mean they were open to the elements were they being like eaten by mosquitoes yeah huh there's no mosquito nets that I, I i guess that's what we were asking we were like so like an animal could just have crawled up and eat your candy <laughs> aren't there bears up there <laughs> I, like i there's so many questions betsy I mean, there's so many questions <laughs> Like I, well, so I have to say, Rex had a really good time at his camp. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm, I'm willing, <laughs> willing and archery, ready to hear about more. And yeah. he came back. It was yeah, very like what hot American summer. Just like oh, we we had nicknames and we had yeah. bits and our. It was like I've got camp friends. Oh, the jokes me and my camp friends would tell. Um, and I was like, great. He didn't. He, Amanda, he didn't miss us at all. <laughs> but to be he fair. He was like, yeah, what's up? I'm back. Yeah. It, to be fair, though, we were also like, this is um <clears throat> kind of nice. Uh, having one less person, namely the person who, you know, uh, fights a lot. Uh, you know, so that was, um, yeah. You okay? Yeah, my watch just fell off my arm. So I was thinking oh. again. Um, that is a really. Funny I love that he didn't miss you. I mean, I don't love that he didn't miss you, but I love that he had so much fun that it was like no big deal. <gasps> yeah, I was like, were you homesick? No. Um, trust me, when you hear yes, I was crying. I cried like two or three times, and I peed myself. You you just go like, oh god. Oh no, that was my. I I had a fear of that. Yeah, yeah. I did too. I did too. I made sure to pack like tons. And it was, you know, for it wasn't like he peed the bed or anything. He just had to go so bad one night, and he was nobody was awake to take him and be his buddy to go to the bathroom. So, oh, poor guy. And he was like, "Well, I didn't want to wake anyone up." I'm like, "Or stand yes. outside my tent to pee." Yeah. Well, I mean, like I was like, "There's no wall. You could just probably even you stand in stand the tent." There. Just yeah. <laughs> but these oh. are those things. Like get this morning where I was like, "Can you get me a towel? I wash the dog and." I was Wes, go get me a towel, and he brings me back a tiny hand towel, and I was like, no, a big towel. And then he goes over, there's a pile of towels, and I was like, there's a pile of towels right by the dryer. Go grab one of those. I don't see any. He was, like, standing on them. Standing. Yeah. Th those are the sort of things I was hoping yeah. what camp would kind of correct, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. The, when, yesterday, I was like, Rex, I sent a bath. First of all, Rex did not shower. Or bathe oh. the entire. Yeah, week. Wes said I did. I bathed. I showered once, uh, and I well, was like, "Oh, something. okay." Yeah. The yeah. Grizz, uh, the um, the counselor was like, "Yeah, you're gonna need to give him a shower because I he refused to shower." <sighs> um, and so I was like, "Hey, Rex, uh, I know you didn't so use stinky. that bath towel I sent. Um, where where <laughs> is it?" And he's like, what towel? And I'm like, the one that looks just like this towel. Like, where is it? I sent one with you. And he was like, oh, that was hanging in the bathroom all week. And no one knew whose towel that was. I was like, that was your towel. Your name was on it. And he's like, yeah, no one could figure it out. Your fucking name was on it, dude. Could, Grizz couldn't figure that out? Come on. <sighs> yeah. No, it's... um. Wes lost, he had a bag with his favorite stuffy and a book and some other stuff. And he left it. Oh, so no. we're now on a, we're on a hunt to go find it. They have it. So we have to drive to where one of the people that has it. They They're going to just... offer me some pizza. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They will. Hey, do you like Kate, little crackers? Guess what? You get to go. <laughs> do you like a tiny medicine cup full of wine? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> do you... <laughs> Just curious. Hey, why don't you have some crackers? Maybe just one. And this medicine cup full of wine. And just like, um, dedicate your life to Christ. Okay. Anyway, pizza. Um, yeah. You know what? I come from a place of, uh, Ari, Ari actually is like, take it down a notch, Betsy. Because I'm like, su I'm super like, um, I'm always like, stop trying to convert me. Uh, clearly Satan is inside me because I'm like, everyone's <laughs> trying to convert me. Everyone's trying to convert you. Um, 
because that was my whole childhood was everyone trying to tell me how to think um <clears throat> So I'm like super, uh, just like no, no religion. Yeah. Don't keep it away from me. It burns my skin. Um, uh, and Ari's like, it's fine. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I, I hear all that. That that would have made me a little crazy. Um, it was interesting. <laughs> well, should we wrap it up? Yeah. Do you have anything you want to promote, Amanda? Uh, no, I ain't got nothing to promote. I ain't got no. nothing. <laughs> you're, you're, you're promoting life. That's right. I'm just promoting, like, you know, life. That's right. All right. That's it. If you like Why Mommy Drinks and you want to support the show, please go to Apple Podcasts, rate us five stars, and leave us a glowing review. Check out our sponsors and the Why Mommy Drinks Patreon. Follow and like Why Mommy Drinks on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Join our Facebook group. Also, I want to hear what broke you. So email me your shit shows or leave a message on our hotline. A copy with your shit show. 424-279-884. A copy with your shit show. 424-279-884. copy with your shit show. 424-279-8842. And all of this information is in the written description of this episode. Yeah, but thanks for having me on. I miss you. I miss you too. I love you. I love you. Well, Amanda, <laughs> you are doing a great job. You are doing a great job. You are doing a great mm. job. Uh, well, uh, uh, hey, if if you find yourself uh, accidentally sending your kid to Christian camp, yeah, or if you find yourself. In your self, in your two week of quarantine, because your, because your husband decided mojo potatoes are more important than a Delta variant. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I can hear Arya already. He's gonna be like, "That is not what, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't that big of a deal." <laughs> <laughs> Just know that you are doing a great job. My mommy drinks. Have you ever encountered an unexplained hairy bipedal hominid in the woods? Have you received telepathic messages from an unidentified aerial phenomenon? If so, then you need to listen to Bigfoot Collectors Club. I'm Michael McMillan. And I'm Bryce Johnson. And together with super producer... Riley Bray. We make up the Bigfoot Collectors Club. That's right. Every week we talk to actors, comedians, writers, and paranormal experts about their personal paranormal histories and share stories of high strangeness. Like the time when we talked to Craig Ferguson about the Loch Ness Monster and when a sea witch told him he had raven magic. Or the time I asked Pitch Perfect's Anna Camp her opinion on cattle mutilations. Past guests have included Rachel Bloom, Jen Kirkman, Paul F. Tompkins, Bobcat Goldthwait, and more. So if you've ever been abducted alongside five reindeer by an alien with drills for hands, or witnessed Bigfoot crawl out of an interdimensional portal, don't laugh, it happens all the time. Then check out Bigfoot Collectors Club on Campfire Media or wherever you get your podcasts. Bigfoot, Bigfoot Collectors Club, Club. You're, you're here to, to believe us. us. Wait, is that how it goes? Campfire.